Hello everyone, I'm Alexis Cook and this is your BG24 News online video update for Wednesday, February 26. On Tuesday, the BGSU Student Wellness Network hosted Erase the Stigma. This event allowed students to ask questions to experts and students alike about the topic of mental illness. This event occurred as part of the Eating Disorders Awareness Week. The event took place Tuesday, February 25th at 8.30 p.m. at the Bowen Thompson Student Union. BGSU students, faculty, and staff will participate in the Glass City Marathon on April 27th, representing Bowling Green's Cocoon Shelter. The Cocoon Shelter provides safety, healing, and justice for women and children dealing with domestic violence. Those participating in the event hope to spread awareness and support regarding domestic violence. Citizens are encouraged to donate to the organization on their website at firstgiving.com slash fundraiser slash BGSU WGSS slash Glass City Marathon. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder told state attorney generals that they do not have to defend the laws banning same-sex marriage. These laws can only be defended if they do not discriminate in any way forbidden by the Constitution. Holder says that values that are all created equal and entitled to equal opportunity must be maintained. Holder even expresses his personal views that laws of this nature must hold constitutional grounds and not solely political disagreements. While this has been one of the worst winters for the Midwest and the East, Detroit has been struggling with the most with these winter conditions. The National Weather Service has dubbed this the harshest winter in Detroit's history since 1950. In De Detroit has so far accumulated more than six and a half feet of snow and 100 days under freezing temperatures. The winter index will continue to measure the conditions until the end of winter around three weeks away. For today, expect highs around the mid-teens under a partially cloudy sky and the moving progression into cloudy skies later in the afternoon. Winds will be from west-southeast at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. For tonight, we'll see lows in the single digits around 7 degrees under partially cloudy skies. Winds will be from the southwest at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. For tomorrow, expect to see sh snow showers yielding less than one inch of snow with highs in the low teens. Winds will be from the west-northwest at around 20 miles per hour when temperatures will be dropping around negative 8 later in the evening. Thanks for checking in with your campus and community connection. I'm Alexis Cook.